Hello guys, Rob here. In this one, we're going to cover staking your DAP and DAP HODL tokens. First, we're going to go through the easy way. This way is only good if you want to stake all your DAP tokens, but it is a lot easier than the second way, which is more involved, but you can use it if you want to stake a certain amount of your DAP or DAP HODL tokens. So starting off with the easy way, shout out to the Blocks.io team. They have created a page, Blocks.io slash DSP, and this is a real easy way to stake all your DAP HODL tokens. Firstly, we're on Blocks.io slash DSP. I am logged into my account via Scatter. Up here you can see that. And it shows my DAP HODL balance and my DAP HODL allocation. If you want to update your balance here, go ahead and click that refresh button and click allow. There we go. I got a little bit more of DAP HODL there. As with each block, you get a little bit more and a little bit more of those DAP HODLs. I have added links to the EOSIO support page about claiming your DAP tokens uh, to videos on getting these tokens to show up in Scatter and Graymass Wallet. So if I'll leave the link to this in the description. This is the account you use and the symbol you use when you follow either one of these videos, either the Scatter video or the Graymass video, to get your DAP HODL tokens to show up in those wallets. So if you are interested in that, check out the link below. But back to the Blocks.io DSP portal page. Here on this page has a list of all the packages you can choose from to stake your DAP tokens to. And on the side you either have stake DAP or stake DAP HODL. Right now, from what I know, the only package that pays rewards, so the only one if you stake to them you will get DAP token rewards back, is this EOS Nation DSP package, which currently requires 100,000 DAP tokens. So if you don't have 100,000 DAP tokens, the only benefit you're going to get from staking to any of these other packages is just being able to use the DAP network right now. I just wanted to let you guys know that from my, from what I know right now, this package here, the EOS Nation package with 100,000 minimum stake is the only one that is paying rewards. So there are other packages here, minimum 10, minimum 1, and there's a large list of packages to choose from. So in order to stake your DAP tokens to them, DAP or DAP HODL, you'd simply click, in this example we're going to stake DAP HODL, and that would pop up scatter here, and simply allow the transaction and your DAP HODL tokens would be staked. But what this is going to do is stake all, your entire balance. There's no input to change how many tokens you are staking using this method. So, in order to stake a certain amount of tokens, it's a little bit more involved. So if you want to stake them all, all you do, click the button, click allow, that'll stake all of them. But, I'm going to leave this scatter pop-up open here, so we can go into the more in-depth method, which you can use if you want to stake a certain amount of tokens. This is sending two actions, one to the DAP services select package, and the other to DAP air hodl one stake. So I'm going to leave this open, and if you want to stake a certain amount, it's a little bit more involved. But first thing we need to do is go to the DAP Services account page. So open up another Blocks.io tab. Keep this page open because you will need to come back here to reference some of these columns here to input into the DAP Services and DAP Air HODL page. I'm just going to pull this off to the side real quick. In the new Blocks.io, we're going to input... DAP services right here. So DAPP services and pull up the DAP services page. So where we need to go is to the select package. So go to contract here on the DAP services page. Contract action we're looking for select package. Click select package. And here we need to input the owner, the provider, the service, and the package. So going back and referencing this page, you have the provider, the service, and the ID, which is the package. Provider, service, package, provider, service, package. 
So you would go ahead and input those in for whatever package you want to choose. And the owner is, of course, your, your own account. So for me, that'd be send EOS to CML. And just using the first package here, the ID would be the package. So the ID would be package. The service would be the service. And the provider would be the provider. And you'd go ahead and push this transaction through Scatter. Simply click push transaction and then confirm it in Scatter. That is step one of staking your DAP HODL tokens the hard way, but this gives you control of how many you stake. So that process right here took care of the first action from just using the blocks.io DSP one click page. Now, secondly, once we send this transaction through, again, you just fill that out on this page, push the transaction through. Then we need to go to the DAP air hodl page. This is the account that actually has the DAP air hodl contract. So we'd go to DAP air hodl one account page. DAP Air Hodl One and open the DAP Air Hodl One page. And then referring back to the scatter here, then we need to go to the stake section of the contract. So come to contract, we're already on that contract, go to stake. And then on this page, you'd put in the owner, which is your account. So for me, send EOS to CML, provider, service, and quantity. So going back to the last page, we push the action through on the DAP services account for this first package. So for the second one, we need to do the exact same package, providing the provider and the service. The provider would be under the provider tab. So I'd input the provider there and the service would be under the service column and put it here and here is where you can input the quantity yourself so if you didn't want to stake all you could stake you know let's say you had 100 you only wanted to stake 10 put in 10 you wanted to stake 5 put in 5 you want to stake 100 put in 100 push that transaction through and then you are done but going this longer way allows you to stake the amount you want to stake so the second more involved way we just went through manually and interacted with dap services select package ourselves filled in all the required information pushed that transaction through then went to the dap air hodl account went to the stake part of the contract and filled in all of the required information ourselves but putting in the quantity we wanted ourselves, where it's not staking all of them so there you go, guys. That is how you stake your DAP HODL in both the easy way and the more involved way, which allows you to control how much you do stake. I will be putting this video up onto EOSIO support, as well as, again, I'll leave a link in the description to this EOSIO support page, which does have two videos that show you how to get your DAP HODL tokens to show up in either Scatter or Graymass Wallet. And of course, I'll leave a link to blocks.io forward slash DSP page in the description below as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful, please drop a like. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. That's going to do it for me for this one. Link to the Hoggle EOS Twitter in the description if you want to follow us. But that's it for me. See you guys in the next one.